Hmm, my grandfather's router, I've had it for close to 30 years, has bitten the dust. I'm Rick. Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is a shack. Hello and welcome. If you're new to the channel, first time stopping by, thank you so much for taking some of your time out to view. I always ask that you consider subscribing and if you do ring the ding 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 that bell down there so you're notified when the videos do come out. This video is a quick shop update. Just because I put out videos, don't think I've run into situations that are, well, let's say the least, very aggravating, and they always happen in the most inopportune time. Yeah, they never happen when you need it to happen. Your tools won't break down or malfunction after you finish the job. No, they gotta do it right in the middle of a job. Check up right there, and I will have a link to the rustic flags I'm making. And I'm making them out of the reclaimed wood that I got, the old church pews, and they were solid oak pews. Yeah, you've seen the pile I got out there, and I'm making these very special flags. But my router stopped in mid-stride of cutting these keyholes. And I gotta figure out why and I hope hope it's not damaged beyond repair because it's my grandfather's and I would like to keep it running. And I don't use it that often, so I'm hoping it's nothing more than maybe the switch has gone out. You know, I can I can figure something out on that. So let's get back here, let's start tearing this part and see what happened. Right in the middle of making keyholes in the back to hang the things with my router stopped. Probably shouldn't be surprised it is a very old router, so as you see, this actually used to be a table saw or a portable saw job, so I'm going to call it. Somebody converted this top to a router table. My father-in-law found that at yard sale, and I told him, go ahead and grab it. I need some type of a router table, and I paid $20 for it. This router is, oh my God, probably 30 years old, easy. It was my grandfather's. My oldest daughter is 33, so yeah, it's got to be close to 30 years old. I got it from my grandmother after he passed away. Here it is. See? It used to be a table saw. And they converted it to a router table. I mean, for 20 bucks, at least I got something that holds a router. Unfortunately, my router's gone now, but I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if you'll catch it enough. Right there underneath that little label, made in the USA. When was the last time a craftsman was truly made in the USA? So I said this is about 30 years old. It is 315.17381. That's the model number. I hate for this to be destroyed and I can't use it no longer. I didn't use my router table that often, but it was nice to have. And I don't have a router available I can use in this. So what I think I'm going to do, let me plug it in again just to make sure. Yeah, it's dead. So first thing I want to check, just see if the trigger, that would be easy fix if my trigger went out. So we take this all out, so unplug, yes, unplug. Ooh. Sometimes that's a problem. Okay. Wow. So, let's see, I think I can get my, my multimeter. I just got the Makita working, working so I can use it. Now this one goes out. Man, I tell you. So I want right there. 122, so this working. So let me plug her in and see if I got any juice going there. For one, let's see if it starts there. I'm not getting nothing. Turn on. I'm not getting nothing. So that is a little suspicious right there. Nothing going on there, so I'm gonna have to get this off so I can see what's going on inside here. Okay, so I'm gonna 
get the wires and figure out. Okay, make sure I got power coming in. I can follow this down. I don't know if the brushes even need to be done. I have to check those. That's it. I don't know if there's even anything available for these anymore, man. It just stopped. Dead stopped. Don't feel bad. I have no idea about these brushes. I have to pull them out and see what they look like. I have to go online just see if I can find anything for this anymore. Okay. Put those in there. <coughs> Plug it in, see if I get anything. So at least I know I got power going in. Nothing? Are you serious? Ah. So this is, I got three wires coming out. And that's coming from the brown is the one so I got should have. Hmm. There we go. That's a common wire. Okay, so unplug this again. Wire these up. I'm hoping this is going to work. Not a, I just oh you know what that probably would help if I put the plug in. <laughs> Dummy. No. Do this again. I'm gonna make sure this comes back from the plug. Yep. Plug in. It's working. So power is going to the motor. The motor isn't working. So unplug this and I gotta tear this apart a little bit further looks like I got two screws here on both either side flat heads on this side Figure this out. Well, I got this off, and there's a. I don't know how you get the brushes off, but there's one brush on this side, and this side doesn't have a brush. Or if it is, it's gone. I don't know, that's kind of weird. But there's a bunch of little broken pieces I'm finding in here, and there's something down in there. So I'm gonna try to tip this around. okay for what it is no idea what that goes to but I wonder because on looks like one of these is broke right there why I, that's weird yeah well I know I have a feeling this is it's all gone now because if you look right here if you can see that right there Okay. There's a piece of chunk missing out of there, and if you look down here in the bottom part of it, some of this plastic broke away. I have a feeling this is gone. Oh, a bite right in the middle of a project, and I need a tool now. This one doesn't have nothing in it. Let's get it out of the way. There it goes. That ain't too bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Check that out, I got this brush out, but because that thing went around and actually bent it, you see it's bent right there, it's preventing that brush from coming out. Yeah, see? I you can see it pushes in, but because this is bent, it won't come out. Wow, that's ruined that. So, 
My 30 year old router has bitten the dust. That had to broke, hit this, bent it in so the brushes are unable to come out like they're supposed to. They're not floating in there freely now. It's restricted right there. So this has kind of been worn to the form of this. This is broke and the plastics here. So that means the wire has a break in it. So now it's not getting the complete circuit. Oh man. So I'm going to have to go in the house, I'm going to go online, see if there's anything for this at all. Unfortunately, I think by the time I went, if, if there happened to be any of this available, which I doubt very highly, it's probably going to be just as much to buy a whole new one. So now i got to look for a kind of like a basic router. I don't need to spend three, four hundred dollars. I'm just going to get one I can find for about a hundred bucks. See if I can mount it to this so at least I can have something. Anyway. That's just a little shop update. This is what happened today, right in the middle of making those flags right there. Trials in the shop. It isn't always perfect. We do run into snags now and then. That's too bad. This was a classic. Made in USA. I may end up just keeping this set somewhere. This is my grandfather's. And... That's part of what I had early days when I started started doing woodworking. Actually, I just I didn't have this until after he passed away. I'm bummed. I'm very very bummed. Thanks so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back your shotgun. Just build it for your sanity. Just take it in stride. It is very aggravating, but tools will break down. We always wish they would break down after we're done with the job. Yeah. See you next video.